So I'm going to be redoing Dollar Tree placemats to make them suitable for me. Okay, so y'all, I loved this placemat from the Dollar Tree. But my problem is, um, my table is a little round uh, breakfast table. Because that's all I got room for and it's all I wanted anyway. And I don't have room for these big placemats. Um, but my table is, I'm going to take my tags off. My table is wood. Um, a light colored wood so if you put hot my i eat oatmeal almost every morning and if i put my hot bowl on there or hot plates it's gonna eventually put white rings on my table and i do not want that right so i am going to take this placemat which is little of no value because you know heat is going to go right through this this is not even this is not a substantial placemat. It's not straight either, I don't think. But anyway, I'm going to take this placemat and I'm going to get two mini placemats out of this, okay? So I'm just going to use this existing front and back because I can. Why not? It's there, so I'm going to use it. So I'm going to take and fold it in half and pull towards me as I'm cutting. That'll make sure I get a clean, clean edge right there. When you tug back some, it helps. And I'm just going to cut it in half, okay? I don't know if I... Well, I'll need those. So now at this point, I can take this. And this is just a quick, quick little... Um, a quick little thing here that you can do. But I'm taking it apart. Where's my seam ripper? I thought I had it earlier. I'm going to just take these apart. And then I can get two out of here. But I'm only going to make one for your sake. And I'm going to iron this. I'm going to iron this out. Okay. Now I have my iron on a poly setting. Because I really don't know what this. I mean I know this is interfacing. But I really don't know what this stuff is. It's slick and and weird. So. Y'all. This lint roller. I bought it. It's linked in my Amazon store. In my crafting supplies. Not my sewing. But this thing is washable, and you talk about sticky. Man, that thing will stick. And it pulls up these little strings. And all of your fabric. And all you do is take this back over to your, to your sink. And uh, I would put definitely put a uh, screen in my sink. But you just wash this off in your sink and it comes sticky again. And it has, I don't know how many um, things on there. How many times you can rinse it is what I'm trying to say. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I, I love it. They used to have those back in the day. Now that I have them ironed, I'm going to put them face to face on top of each other. And I am just going to straighten them out. That's all I'm going to do at this point is just use my rotary cutter and straighten these things because they're crooked as a dog's hind leg. So now I have this all even, Lord willing, and I want two layers of this batting because, like I said, this is virtually nothing. So... <clears throat> Y'all, excuse me, I'm so sorry. This mucus is, ugh, it's mucus season. Mucus season. That's all I got to say. It doesn't really matter what side you put this on. So I'm going to remove this up and I'm just going to use one. Because these have interfacing already on them. And it sticks very well to this batting. And this is cotton batting. You can use whatever batting you prefer. These are not going in the microwave. These are not for the microwave, y'all. So I'm just putting my batting down. And I'm just using this as a pattern, and I'm going to cut my piece out. Now, I am going to run some quilt lines across this because I don't want it flopping, and it's just going to look better, in my opinion. Um, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. But you can take any of these Dollar Tree placemats and make you mini placemats, or just you can use the whole mat if you want to, just to make it thicker. You know, that's up to you. So all you have to do now is take this piece and put it on top of this one. Because when you sew around and fold them in half, uh, or 
turn it inside out it'll all these two will come together and you'll have this in between sandwiched so I'm gonna put in a few pins and I'm not wearing my I don't know where my wrist thing went my room is a total disaster y'all I found it So I'm just going to put my pins in, just a few. Now you want to leave a space where you're going to turn it. And make sure all your layers are flat, okay? And then all I'm going to do is... <clears throat> I'm probably going to leave a long edge. I can fold it under a little better. I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to sew... Uh, leave my needle in the middle okay needle in the middle and this on the edge of my presser foot and so all the way around leaving a space open when you go to your corner leave your needle down turn pivot your fabric and then go down when you get down to this one leave your needle in turn pivot your fabric and sew down it's a whole lot easier to uh do it that way y'all see me i put my wrist cushion on still reached for that so let me pin this and go sew it, and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. If you have one of these type feet, it is called a walking foot. This one goes to my baby lock, but they're, they're interchangeable. They'll work on singers and brothers, um, but this one's my baby lock. They're not that expensive. I think I have one listed in my Amazon store, but what this does, in case you don't know, is this goes, you see that moving? Let me bring it closer. I hope this focuses in. You see that? And this will move both sets of fabric from your feed dogs under here. And then this one up here is another set of feed dogs. And it's an even feeder. So it will, this will bunch up. And I'm, I got another one on my machine. But I just wanted to show you this because it helps your fabric to not pucker. Uh, before I remembered to put it on, I got a pucker right here. But it's not a big deal. So anyways, I just... um wanted you to know that so I'm going to clip my corners of course and you do not have to well you have to do the next step but you don't have to do the other step of what I'm gonna do and uh, everything sticks to this brace but my carpal tunnel is is really bad right now so I have to wear something but anyway now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to flip it inside out. Y'all know this drill. I've done these before, but like I said, I'm going to I'm going to quilt this one because it'll help hold it together and um hold it down, you know, pack it down a little bit. But hopefully this will be a little barrier between my hot plates and my hot oatmeal cuz when I take it out of the microwave, I set it right down right down on there and it's a bowl that I haven't made a bowl cozy bowl cozy 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 I don't know whatever it's called for it because it's it's bigger but uh, be careful when you're poking this out because you'll poke your you'll poke a hole in your fabric this stuff is this this thing is sharp and this fabric is very thin very thin even with interfacing on it it's very thin so I'm just poking my corners out real nice okay you want them out real nice and now I will iron this okay and I'm gonna flip this in and iron this shut and then I'm gonna sew around it last so I'm gonna iron it and then I am going to start in this corner and I'm gonna sew a stitch well, I'll actually start here, and I'll start going like this, and I'm going to sew lines, and then I'll turn it, and I'll start here, so it'll have diamonds. You'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. I'm sure you've seen someone do it. So I'm going to iron this, and then when I get my, my lines drawn, then I'm going to go all the way around and top stitch this closed, and then we'll have our first one done. I'm going to show y'all a trick I do so I know where I'm going okay so I know where I'm sewing so I put this on the edge here 
and I'm going to draw my line. This is a Frixon pen and it comes out with heat. Then I'm going to set my ruler here and I'm going to draw my line. Okay. And this is how I get my lines. Now when I iron this, my line will be gone, y'all. Draw my line. Make sure you transfer your lines on here. I have these in my Amazon store as well. I can't go that way. I'm right-handed and it makes me feel crazy. So, I'm just going to draw all my lines here. You know, I'm getting lines everywhere. On my... Thank God it's a Frixon pen. It'll come out. You see my lines? So when I get done here, I'll do the same. Oops, let me go up some. I forgot I'm getting getting off this thing here. I'll go this do the same thing the other way. So I'll know where my lines are. And if you're afraid this is going to come open right here, you can take a glue stick or something and glue that shut to hold it. Put a pin in it, but make sure you don't sew over your pins, people. It will tear up your, your machine. I went off there. Did you see me? And then I thought that I can just make my line like any old, any old thing. And I can't. I normally can't draw a straight line. If my life depended on it, I'd, I'd be dead because I can't do it. Let me show y'all real quick before I, you know, so I ain't got to keep you hanging. So now, when I get these, you see down here, I'll start at this end because they're here. I'll go here and put my line. And this don't have to be perfect. You know, and see, see how I'm doing. Make sure you get it on the ruler like you're supposed to. And I'll do this way. And then when I get done, I'll have little diamonds all through my all through my little placemat here and it'll be so cute i know it will y'all just watch y'all this is one side see and i i hit it i had to turn it part way because it kept hitting the side of my machine so i had to flip it around and start going the other way but i ain't i ain't about that right there but make sure i'm showing you this make sure you clip all your little uglies off because when you start sewing again and these strings get caught Make sure you pull them all to the side now when you're sewing, unless you clip them right then and there. Because uh, you don't want these up and under your stitches. It's harder. It just makes it harder, okay? So clip them when you get a chance, all right? Um, I had to learn the hard way. I used to not clip nothing until the end, and it was so much more work for me in the long run to have to clip these dumb things and get them out of my way. So if you take care of your uglies before they get really ugly you'll be a whole lot better off and there we go you can still see my lines so I'm just gonna heat it I think this thing shut off on me yeah it's not real hot but all I got to do is heat it and my lines will be gone there it goes it's like it's like magic y'all just watching the lines disappear is uh, satisfying to me anyway but anywho, my lines are gone. Okay, you can see there's no lines there. And ain't it pretty? And you can do these for any placemats they have. You can do them for any time of the year. Get two out of one placemat. So two placemats, you get four of these. And for my little small buffet table or breakfast table, these are perfect. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, you are a blessing. Goodbye.